Hi friends, today we are dealing with the topic Loga Purusha Samya Siddhanta Human Body, a Replica of Universe. Let's see. Broccoli is a member of the cruciferous vegetable family being closely related to the cabbage we know today. Broccoli belongs to the species Brassica, Brassica oleracea, resembling the cauliflower, another cultivated group belonging to the same species. Broccoli is grown in many parts of the world including Asia, North America and Europe. Much of this can be traced to migration from the Mediterranean region, its most likely point of origin. Broccoli prevents cancer. Perhaps the largest amount of research done on broccoli has been for its ability to prevent cancer from developing. Cancer has certain positive links which have increasing risk with oxidation, inflammation and toxins in the body. Broccoli is unique in the sense that it can address all these targets and comprehensively reduce the risk of cancer development. Broccoli helps to reduce cholesterol. Let's see how. Cholesterol is necessary for the production of bile acids, but usually bile acids are reconverted into cholesterol when their requirement for it is over. Here, broccoli shows its role by preventing reconversion of bile acids into cholesterol. Thus, it is an effective natural way to help manage high cholesterol levels. Broccoli promotes bone health. Bone is a living tissue that requires nutrition for its optimum health and function. Broccoli is enriched with the calcium and it also contains magnesium which play a major role in proper mineralization of the bone tissue. The vitamin K which can be considered as a determining factor in proper bone mineralization. Broccoli control blood pressure also. Broccoli can keep blood pressure in a normal range via multiple mechanisms such as it helps to reduce the cholesterol that we have discussed earlier and also by keeping the blood vessels in their proper shape. The presence of potassium assists in dilation of the blood vessels and helping the blood flow and reducing the vascular tension. In addition, potassium is also needed to regulate the sodium and water balance, thus ensuring the blood volume doesn't increase too much as a result of sodium water retentive properties. Walnut is a tree with a hard bark which reaches up to 20 meters in height and it is beneficial in diabetes. The decoction of the leaves of this plant has been considered to be a great help for diabetes and also it is used in vaginal discharges. Local irrigation or washes with the decoction of the pericarp have been recommended for vaginal irritation or discharge problems. Walnuts are jam packed with our favorite omega-3 fatty acids. While a walnut looks like a brain, it actually helps to improve your brain function with these healthy fats. Avocado the avocado tree is native to Mesoamerica, somewhere near the southernmost part of America. Its crops originally covered the entire area between Mexican border and Chile, but the flavor and texture so characteristic of its fruit have spread its crops to many other areas of the world. In some parts of Latin America, it is also known as avocado. This fruit is generally green in color, but its variety, origin and degree of ripeness can lead to even some other shades close to purple. Its pulp is very light yellowish greenish color in general very soft and creamy with a very pleasant flavor. It is about 10 cm long depending on the variety can have a radius of about 4 or more centimeters at its widest part. In nutritional properties such a high content of vegetable based oil and other essential compounds have made it one of the most complete food with a high nutritional value. Avocados are a great source of folic acid. Folate is known to assist in reducing your chances of getting cervical dysplasia which is a precancerous disease that can be contracted in the uterus. For rickets, it is recommended to make an avocado cure consuming avocado pulp with pumpkin and to nourish and moisturize the mixed skin, crush an avocado and add honey to it and leave it for 20 minutes and rinse it with lukewarm water strawberries and teeth watching television or any other social media we have seen so much of commercial advertising for products that whiten your teeth 
some are expensive too this is where strawberries come in as a very useful fruit if you regularly eat strawberries they can help whiten your teeth strawberries contain something called malic acid which helps whiten your enamel on your teeth so next time please do grab some strawberries from your shops some other uses of strawberries include in pregnancy adequate folic acid intake is essential for pregnant women to protect against the neural tube defects in infants where strawberries plays a major role in depression folates may also help with the depression by preventing excess of homocysteine from forming in the body which can prevent blood and other nutrients from reaching the brain excess homocysteine interferes with the production of the feel good hormones serotonin dopamine and norepinephrine which regulate not only mood but also sleep and appetite strawberries contain powerful antioxidants that work against free radicals inhibiting tumor growth and decreasing inflammation in the body thus it is useful in preventing cancer in blood pressure due to their high potassium content strawberries are recommended to those with a high bp to negate the effects of sodium in the body in stroke antioxidants quercetin camphorol and anthocyanins have been shown to reduce the formation of harmful blood clots associated with the stroke in constipation eating foods that are high in water content and fiber like strawberries grapes watermelon helps to hydrate our body and also for regular bowel movements fiber is essential to minimize constipation and adding bulk to the stool and also in allergy and asthma due to anti inflammatory effect of quercetin consuming strawberries helps to alleviate the symptoms of allergy running nose watery eyes etc in diabetes strawberries might be excellent choice for people with diabetes because of their low glycemic index food and high in fiber which helps to regulate the blood sugar and keep it stable by avoiding extreme highs and lows olives are one of those foods which are served in italian and mediterranean dishes such as greek salad with chicken or with fish it has similar appearance with women's ovary the healthy fats in olives can help the suppression of any genes that predispose a woman to get ovarian cancer red wine and blood look very similar and they have a close relationship too red wine has blood thinning properties which actually work to help prevent blood clots long term use helps to prevent heart attack and strokes but remember excessive use is not good for our body red wine is a type of wine made from dark colored grape varieties the actual color of the wine can range from intense violet typical of young wines to brick red for mature wines and to brown for older red wines the juice from the most purple grapes is greenish white the red color coming from anthocyanin pigments also called as anthocyanins present in the skin of the grape much of the red wine production process therefore involves extraction of color and flavor components from the grape skin red wine contains a substance called resveratrol an antioxidant flavonoid that may lower the bad cholesterol levels and thereby minimize the potential for blood clot antioxidants called polyphenols of which the resveratrol is one may aid in the protection of the lining of the blood vessels within the heart as well beans are found in different varieties such as common bean fasciolus vulgaris immature or young pods of the runner bean fasciolus coccineus yard long bean and hyacinth bean etc role of beans in depression it helps to meet the daily folate needs adequate folate consumption can prevent an excess of homocysteine in the body too much of homocysteine can stop blood and other nutrients from reaching the brain and it can interfere with the production of good hormones like serotonin dopamine norepinephrine which regulate the mood sleep and appetite beans contain a high amount of chlorophyll 
This may block the carcinogenic effect of heterocyclic amines that are generated when grilling meats at a high temperature. Thus, it helps to prevent cancer. Role of beans in fertility and pregnancy For women of childbearing age, consuming more iron from plant sources such as spinach, beans, pumpkin and green beans appears to promote fertility. Other studies have shown a correlation between a woman's level of fertility and the level of iron that she consumes, pairing iron-rich foods with vitamin C-rich foods like tomatoes, bell peppers or berries can improve the iron absorption. Adequate folic acid intake is also needed during pregnancy to protect the fetus against neural tube defects. Tomatoes the fiber, potassium and vitamin C and choline content in tomato support heart health. An increase in potassium intake along with a decrease in sodium intake is the most important dietary change an average person can make to reduce their risk of cardiovascular disease. In diabetes, people with a type 2 diabetes may have improved their blood sugar, lipids and insulin levels due to consumption of tomatoes. In constipation also, it induces a high water content, fiber and helps to hydrate and support the normal bowel movements. Tomatoes protect eyes. Tomatoes can help protect eyes from light damage. They are rich source of lycopene, lutein and beta carotene. The age-related eye disease study recently found that people with high dietary intake of carotenoids, lutein, and zeaxanthin both present in tomatoes had a 35 percentage reduction in the risk of neovascular age related macular degeneration in skin collagen is an essential component of skin hair nails and connective tissue the production of collagen in the body is reliant of vitamin c we have learned a deficiency of vitamin c can lead to scurvy as vitamin c is a powerful antioxidant Low intake is associated with the increased damage from sunlight, pollution and smog. It can lead to wrinkles, sagging skin and also adverse effects on skin. Much like a tomato, the heart is red and complex. Just like heart, tomatoes have small chambers inside. But a tomato is filled with liquid and seeds inside instead of blood. Eating tomatoes can help your heart health because they contain lycopene which can help reduce the chances of getting heart disease. Grapes are a fantastic snack if you are both hungry and thirsty because of how juicy they are. If you struggle with allergy triggered asthma, grapes and their seeds are your new best friend. The seed contain a chemical called proanthocyanidin which helps reduce asthma. Grapes are also happen to look like the alveoli in your lens. The ways to consume grapes are endless, from red, green, purple grapes to seedless grapes. Grape jelly, grape jam, grape juice, wine, raisins, everything is popular. From the history goes back as far as 8000 years when the grape vines were first cultivated in what is now the Middle East. It may surprise you to hear that humble grape is actually considered to be a berry. 72 million tons of these berries are grown each year worldwide with most of them being used to produce wine. 7.2 trillion gallons of wines per year to be exact. Researchers have also found that resveratrol to be a beneficial for treating Alzheimer's disease relieving hot flashes and mood swings associated with menopause and improving blood glucose control. However, large studies using human subjects are still needed to confirm this findings. Grapes are high in antioxidant important for eye health such as lutein and zeaxanthin and red grapes contain the phytochemical resveratrol in their skin. The best way to consume grapes is fresh right out of your hand. Most grape jellies and spreads, juices and wine have added sugars which tack on additional calories. Carrot the fiber in it helps you to lower the risk of four heart disease and type 2 diabetes. Potassium counteracts the adverse effect of sodium on your BP. 
and vitamin C is necessary for forming collagen and healing wounds. You need vitamin A for healthy immune function and vision and vitamin K for proper blood clotting. When you consume fewer calories so you can lose weight, it makes it harder to meet all your nutrient needs. To overcome this problem, eat mainly food that contain a lot of nutrients per calorie such as carrot. Carrot juice extract was shown to kill leukemia cells and inhibit their progression in a 2011 study. Among younger men, diets rich in beta-carotene play a major protective role against the prostate cancer according to study conducted by the Harvard School of Public Health Department of Nutrition. According to Duke ophthalmologist Jill Cowrie, vitamin A deficiency causes the outer segments of eyes photoreceptors to deteriorate, damaging the normal vision. So, carrot helps to protect our eye and restore the vision. Mushrooms and ears Beyond all the cartilages that you see, which makes up the exterior of your ear, there lie some tiny bones known as malleus, incus and stapes, which helps your ears to perceive sound. When they are sliced and turned sideways, mushroom actually look like ears. To keep your bones strong, one should take mushrooms. They are packed with vitamin D and which helps to keep your bones strong and highly functioning. The word mushroom is derived from the French word for fungus and molds. In 1650, a melon grower near Paris discovered mushrooms growing on his growth fertilizer. He decided to cultivate this commercially and to introduce it in exclusive restaurants. It was at that time that mushroom was given the nickname Parisian mushroom. Later on, the French gardener Chambry discovered that caves had just a right cool and moist environment for cultivating mushrooms, after which a large-scale mushroom cultivation developed in the caves around Paris. Studies have shown that people with a type 1 diabetes who consume high fiber diets have lowered their blood glucose levels and people with type 2 diabetes may have improved blood sugar and lipids and insulin levels. One cup of grilled portobello mushroom and one cup of stir fried shiitake mushroom both provide about 3 grams of fiber. Fiber also benefits the digestive system and reduces the risk of heart disease and also beneficial in metabolic syndrome. Immunity Selenium has also been found to improve immune response to infection by stimulating the production of killer T cells. The beta-glucan fibers found in the cell walls of mushrooms stimulate the immune system to fight cancer cells and prevent tumors from forming. Sweet potato looks similar to pancreas. The gland organ called pancreas helps to break down the food from your stomach and also produces a hormone called insulin to regulate your body's glucose and sugar level. A great source of vitamin A, vitamin C and sweet potatoes also help in diabetes with a balance of their glycemic index. Ginger Ginger originates from some tropical zones of Far East. The cultivation of ginger has spread to almost all tropical regions of the world. The fresh rhizome of the plant is usually used. It is also available in powder form or in dry form. The benefits of ginger in digestion. It favors the elimination of bacteria and other harmful intestinal microorganisms. Regularly taking ginger helps to improve the composition of the intestinal flora and helps to avoid appearance of intestinal putrefaction responsible for abdominal swelling. The volatile oils in ginger with the anti-inflammatory properties makes it beneficial in rheumatoid arthritis condition, thus relief pain, swelling and improve the mobility in such conditions. The ginger oils may also inhibit growth of cancer cells colorectal. High content of magnesium, calcium and phosphorus, minerals that actively participate in contraction of the muscle and in transmission of nervous impulse, it is useful remedy to prevent and combat muscle spasm and muscle weakness. Celery has been known as one of those veggies that is used to prepare snack. Celery actually has something in common with your bones. 
other than just appearance they contain 23 percentage of sodium just like your bones celery is a great source of silicon which helps with the structure of your bones to keep them strong and healthy celery is the common name of a biannual herb of european origin it is currently cultivated worldwide there are two different plants wild celery inedible and common celery found in orchards and markets which is an edible vegetable benefits of celery in kidney and menstrual diseases cut about 100 grams of celery into small pieces crush in a cup and add water little by little until half of a liter is completed filter and then add sugar to it for a taste and take two tablespoon three times a day if the pain due to kidney stones are unbearable there is a useful and easy home remedy to reduce them once you feel the pain you can take hot lemon juice or you can eliminate the stones by drinking celery juice four times a day i hope the video is clear to all of you if you are interested to watch more videos please do subscribe our channel and stay connected with us shows your reviews in the form of likes and comments Thank you.